the funniest thing, I always cool myself out whenever I hear anything new that I don't understand. I want to turn my nose up. When I was real little, I cut my teeth on New Orleans jazz, Armstrong, mm -hmm. King, King Oliver, that sort of thing. And when I was about six years old, my father came home with a record one day and he said, here, I want you to listen to this. He put it on and it was one of those old Savoy Charlie Parker, Max and Tommy Potter. And, and I listened to about a few minutes up. I said, take that off. I don't like it. Put Armstrong back on. Yeah. Which is all my father says, okay, you got it. But then I'd just be walking around the house and he'd sneakily put that record back on. And before I knew it, my, it was catching my ear. And I, in my own little infantile way, I could hear things, hear the same things that Armstrong was doing, only done in a different way, in a different style. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that to myself, but you know, your rhythmic similarities and stuff like that. But I mean, and that's, you know, that's, that's the whole, and if it's done right, like anything else, if it, I mean, my God, look at television. They can, make, they can sell soap suds as though it were a pot, a pot full of gold. Well, why not, if you, if you approach the, this, music thing right you can do the same thing you know not to say that you're going to try to pull yes, the wool no. over anybody's eyes or you know, anything yep. like commercials do but you could, at least you could if you make it interesting and if you if a, if a teacher doesn't make it seem like a course mm -hmm. some you know something where yeah. a kid has to sit there and watch the clock you know we'll make it interesting that's all approach it from their level instead of talking down to them